Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's Professor Williams, and this morning I want to give you guys an overview of some pretty basic stem and leaf plots. I'm going to use Minitab to create one, and then I'm going to try and explain how you read them. So let's go get some data. All right, here I am over in Minitab, and what I've done is I've imported some data into my worksheet what it actually is, it's some stats for the 30 major league baseball teams. Um, and you can see I've got a ton of them. So what I'm going to use today, I think, is wins. So I'm going to come up here to graph. I'm going to select stem and leaf. And remember that I can either double click and the variable will move over into my window or I can just highlight it and hit select. Not worrying about any of this stuff right now. I'm going to hit OK. What it's going to do is it's going to give me stem and leaf plot of wins, n equal to 30. The leaf unit is 1. So how do we read this? All right. So what I've got is it tells me the leaf unit is 1. These are your leaves because they're out there on the side and the other row or column so to speak is going to be your stem All right, so this is the stem because basically what we're creating is we're creating a stem which is going to be a 10 unit and our leaves are out here just like they were hanging on my daisies and these are going to be ones because that's what it tells me right here if you look at the data um, over here you'll notice that the data um, in wind 65 91 etc so so Stem, leaf. Remember, every leaf has to go onto a stem. Every leaf has to go onto a stem. So, how do I read this first piece right here? I'm going to take a stem of five, add one leaf of seven gives me the data point of 57 wins. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look down through my guys. Pittsburgh Pirates obviously didn't have a great year. They only had 57 wins. What you see is that this data point of 57 wins for the Pirates is represented by this right here. Okay? All right, so let's see what else we have. What do the stems represent? Well, the stems actually represent classes, just like a frequency distribution. So what I know is on this first stem right here, it contains all of the data points from 50 up to but not including 60. These are all the 60s up to, but not including 70. These are the 70s up to, but not including 80. Because look what happens right here. What happens right here is that we've got 79. There's 79. And the next stem and leaf starts with 80. So what we actually have is we actually have a frequency distribution created with the classes with a class from 50 up to but not including 60, 60 not up to but not including 70, 70 up to but not including 80, 80 up to but not including 90, 
and 90 up to, but not including 100. So I have a frequency distribution with five classes and 30 data points total. So I could literally go through this stem and leaf plot and find each individual data point that appears in my data set. For instance, here it indicates that 80 appears three times. So if I go back over here to my data, I can say, all right, let me find my three 80s. There's one, the Marlins, two for the Angels, and three for the Dodgers. The big key with a stem and leaf plot is to remember that although a stem may not have a leaf, a leaf will always have a stem. So hopefully this helps and I will see you guys around the classroom.